And Labor's climate bill, of course, has passed through the lower house. Focus is shifting towards how it will meet its 2030 emissions target. One approach the government's yet to explore involves vehicle emission standards with relief to the fuel excise set to come off next month. New research by the Australia Institute suggests imposing emission standards could help ease pain at the Bowser as well as contribute to climate targets. Joining me here in the studio live is Richie Merzian, he's Director of Climate at the Australia Institute. Richie, thanks for your time. Your analysis suggests billions of dollars would have been saved if this emission standard was in place, what, seven years ago? Yeah, that's right. So if the Australian government had come back from signing the Paris Agreement and looked at what policies it could put in place in the transport sector, it could have put a minimum standard, an average standard for efficiency for new cars sold. If they did that in 2016, then motorists would have saved almost $6 billion and we would have saved about 9 million tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions. How do you work that out? So you just basically work in an average level of efficiency that would be brought into new cars, about 20% more efficient, and then the average car uptake from there on in. And you figure out that really with prices skyrocketing, the savings have just increased even further billions would have been saved, emissions would have been saved. And this is a simple regulatory change. It's within the power of any federal government to do. There's been multiple reviews, multiple past commitments, and yet we've still failed to make this simple change happen and we're all paying the price. What's the federal government's view on it, the Labor government? So the, the, the federal Labor government had this as a policy position in 2019 uh, at the federal election. However, facing that defeat, this was jettisoned along with other policies. We've seen the federal government look at what it can do to implement the 43% emission reduction target. This is the next cab off the rank. This is the next change that they should be looking at. And there's a big electric vehicle summit that we're helping to co-host on the 19th of August. That would be a great opportunity for the energy minister to actually put down Labor's position because this is a simple policy you can bring forward that would save motorists money at the Bowser and save greenhouse gas emissions. Well, they are undertaking tax relief for electric vehicles and making other moves on that front. Is that not enough in your view? No, it's not enough. It's a great start, but there's so much more we could do. The transport sector is one of the dirtiest we have. Emissions have risen the most since we signed the original UN convention. They should be looking at all policies, and this is the one that car manufacturers are telling us they need to bring cleaner vehicles here, more efficient vehicles, and more electric vehicles. Currently, we have a deficit of electric vehicles. People can't even get their hands on them, especially affordable ones. These fuel efficiency standards, if they're brought in, would help bring those cleaner cars here. More models would be available and we'd all save. Fuel efficiency standards are in, in place right across the world. We, we have standards in place here, don't we? But they're not just not strong enough in your view? Nor mandatory. So we have voluntary standards that have been designed by some in the industry, but they're weak and they're opaque. There's numerous loopholes. Basically, it wouldn't get us very far. They're, they're, compared to where Europe is at right now, it, it, it's incomparable. What we need are robust standards in line with best practice. 80% of the world have fuel efficiency standards that are mandated. We don't in Australia, and we're becoming basically a dumping ground for older, inefficient vehicles and it's worth remembering, Kieran, we import 90% of our liquid fuels. So all that money is going overseas. We should be looking at efficiency. You've done some polling which suggests that it could be popular as well, that a, lot, that a majority of people surveyed support this sort of approach. Yeah, that's right. Two-thirds of Australians would support this. Car manufacturers are calling for it. Numerous ministers have come out at state and territory level and said that we need these standards. Would it drive up car prices? Well, no. Car manufacturers are telling us that, that it would actually increase model availability and you have like for like. You have more efficient vehicles that are out there that aren't being sent here. Why? Because car manufacturers look across the world, see where they have to send cars because the standards are in place and then where they don't have to, they send their old vehicles, their more efficient vehicles and then you and I literally end up paying more. So, uh, as, as you referred to it, a dumping ground. How quickly can you turn... Uh, as a nation, how quickly could we turn that around, the availability or the breadth of cars available? Yeah, I mean, we could... The federal government could bring in place these regulations this year and that would then send an immediate signal to car manufacturers to begin bringing their efficient vehicles. And each year it builds on itself as we get more and more efficient vehicles into our car fleet. And that's what we should be looking at, especially with fuel prices jumping up next month.